What are you doing down there, mister? I want to talk about fears, guys. Good morning, everyone. We're currently getting ready to go to the gym this afternoon. Not this afternoon, this morning. It's morning time, it's like 8.30, so we're planning to go to the gym this morning. So I haven't been in a couple of weeks, guys, I'm not going to lie. It's been a while since I've gone to the gym. I've been really lazy with the gym, but I'm trying to get motivated again to go again. So we're going today. We are going today. I'm in my workout clothes. I'm in my workout clothes. So we are planning to go. As soon as Frederick's dressed, we are heading off to the gym so I can smash out a workout before I tell myself that I'm not doing it. The thing that we need to do is get Frederick an outfit for today. Now, I think he's just going to have a lazy day. He doesn't even want to get changed. He's like, no, mummy, not getting changed. Oh, do you want those clothes? No, we'll do those clothes tomorrow, darling. We don't need to wear Instagram clothes today. Oh, a bib, really? Well, I'm going to put this top on you because, well, you're going to wear that top. And then, do you want to wear khaki today? Will those go together? I think they will. Frederick is now changed and we just need to put the snappy in the bin and then we can go to the gym. Who the hell is that? I have no idea. I told you I will handle this. Please, go check on the six. One more time. Please, go leave. Now, get back in your car, sir. Oh, Jesus. You've got a gun on my girlfriend. Well, if your Just a kangaroo chilling in someone's front yard. Just chilling. Having a feed. <laughs> so cute. There's another two right there. I think it's a mummy and a baby. I'm not too sure. Hop away, kangaroo. Now it's time to go to the gym. <laughs> into the house and Frederick woke up instantly absolutely instantly as soon as I put him down he woke up so he's a bit upset because Tiger's going outside and if you know Frederick he's a little bit upset with this girl just a little bit <laughs> darling you'll come back in soon bye Max do you want to pat Max? Oh. Yeah. Or run after Max? Kitty. Kitty, yes. Go get him. Kitty. You know what to do. You do this. Do it. 
a good boy. Well done. If you guys want to know what the words we're working on at the moment for Frederick's vocabulary is Max and Lulu. We're working on those two because he obviously can say tiger and he say, can say kitty now. Um, but we're working on Max and Lulu too. So that we're also trying to work on like love. But we're getting there. I think three is enough to try and work on at the moment. Decided to bring these little balls and plastic foam things in to the lounge room for him to play today. And he's literally thrown them everywhere on the floor. And he's moved everything. I don't even know where he is. Let's go find him. I'm guessing he's outside. Oh, more stuff he's put stuff. What are you doing down there, mister? Kitty. Is that kitty? kitty? What are you doing down here? Uh. You enjoying the outdoors with Max? With Max? It's so nice out here. Do you want to go play outside for a little bit? Uh. Not this outside, that outside, because that's so much nicer. I want to talk about fears guys because I think especially since becoming a mum you get so many new fears that involve children or your child and I want to talk to you about my fears that I have about having a child so number one would definitely be falling off things I am petrified of Frederick falling off things he's fell off the bed once and on the couch a couple of times and it absolutely petrifies me every single time he does it my second fear would definitely have to be Freddie like hurting himself that like hurts himself that much that he bleeds he has done it once before and it absolutely terrified me plus I was home alone so it even scared me even more plus I'm not a person that can handle blood very well seeing blood or dealing with blood I just can't handle so it was definitely really hard to do another thing that I've really feared about being a parent is cars now cars are like one of the most dangerous things that we get into every single day um, we put ourselves in danger every single day by getting into our car and something that I fear is ever having a car accident or Freddie being involved something with a car like getting hit or you know accidentally getting run over in the driveway or anything like that involving cars really 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 scares me and I think one thing that really scares me is obviously being in a car accident while Frederick is in the car because obviously he is so innocent and is such a tiny little person that whatever car accident we have definitely would impact Frederick and it's something I'm also passionate about with car safety. I always want the best car safety possible we can give Frederick and also this is why we rear face Frederick still because it is a lot safer for Frederick to be rear facing in his car seat. These are just three little fears that I have now being a mother. I do have many others but I think we would have to do a whole video talking about my fears about being a mother just because there is so 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 many. That time of the day where we're going to say goodbye it is now almost it's four o'clock and we are heading off for the day so I can do a few more things that I need to do around this household but I did hope you all enjoyed today's video don't forget to like this video if you did enjoy it and also subscribe if you're not already and we'll see you guys in tomorrow's video bye do you want to say goodbye